Pity is bad, Miss Surgeon. It kills. I must lay out. Yes. Where's Scrobby? My back. I mean my back. There you are. Give me a moment, will you, dear heart? Yes, sir. What do you say? Yes. Right question, Scroggy. How many more young men will I fail? <laughs>
Richie, if I'm going to be more serious, battle tactics. Gully French's parties are battles. Oh, Nick, a very bad man. Hello, Penny. And who is this we're crossing? I, this is Lieutenant Jack Twig, and he is a friend of mine. And you are to leave him alone. Jack, do the Honourable Penelope Wedgwood. Very honoured to meet you, Miss Wedgwood. I mean, oh God, she's so beautiful, and oh God, if she looks at me again, I should just make a fool out of myself. Ralphie, what's the away? Excuse that dog, then. Where did you find him? A stray from Oxford. Doesn't look a bit of a dog. A dog? That's put me in my place. <laughs> I know I'll never be like one of them. Ralph's alright, he's fun. But when I'm with Toffs, I just feel thin, weedy. Like I'm not really meant to be here. Field Marshal Sir John French. Johnny, darling. Penny, my dear. You look top home. Thoroughly delicious and eatable. Thank you very much, Field Marshal. Good evening, sir. Ah, Lord. Yes, sir. Your father wanted me to do something for you. Am I doing something for you? Well, I, uh... Lieutenant? Uh, yes, Field Marshal. Come with France? Yes, sir. Good man. Martinet, glass. Good health. Good, Good health. health. Bright, young minds, bright and shiny. I envy you, gentlemen, seeing the world is new. Does look all shiny, doesn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, en bloc, for or against? Sir? Lieutenant? I believe in the locks. Do you? My God. As you did, sir, when you won the Battle of Eddings, Larger. It is the age of the bullet, not the lance. What do you say to that? Infantry are not cavalry on horseback. They are to high command. No better than your betters, do you, huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you cannot get rid of infantry in a war. The charge is all about the morale. It's always been that way. Yes, at the cavalry, but the pageant corps. <clears throat> What's wrong with that? Well, there were no English cavalry at the Battle of Agin Corps. Why not? They'd eaten all the horses. Ha! <laughs> Clever little bugger, are you? Oh. No, sir. I mean, yes, sir. Need a junior intelligence officer on my staff. Up for it? Hey, yes, sir. I'll bump you up to captain. Report to my HQ, HQ and take Omer immediately you're in front. Yes, sir. Your promotion on the floor of the Rift Ballroom. Bit of a first day. What, what? <laughs> <laughs> Penelope, my dear, may I have the honour? What a clever boy we are. Delighted, Sir John. You arse licking little shit. What? You weasley weeding creep. What? No. That was my place at Sir. That was my place at HQ. My father spoke to Sir John. You sucked up to your betters. You're a jumped up lower class back from Oxford. That's what you are, Twig. Captain Twig. No, Ralph, I didn't mean to. So, you're the golden boy. You know about that? I do. Mm. What did you say? I am. Um... How did you manage to get into the London Irish? Pretty eyes? Oh my. Something the matter with you? <laughs> yes, I think it might be. So do I. You're different. Why is that? I'm made of mud. Mud? Thames mud. So you're not an officer or gentleman at all? No. I know. I'm a fool for cherry lips and a uniform. And he says he's made of mud. Well, how can a girl resist? <laughs> <laughs> the innocent ones always turn out to be the brutes. Are you a brute? Look, I'm, I'm really sorry, miss, but I... Miss? Oh, bolt from the blue. Are you a virgin? No, I'm a chap. <laughs> Jack, isn't it? I'm very sorry. You thought I was a cat? Is that what you're saying? Well, most of you at Johnny's parties are absolutely bloody swines with peas for brains. But you're all heroes. You are a hero. I haven't done anything yet. You will. When do you leave? Tomorrow morning. So it's going to be like that then? It's going to be like what? Oh, I say. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm in the room. In the Ritz? Daddy keeps a sweet. Oh, God, who's Daddy? <laughs> <laughs> I say, I'm going to France, you know. Not far enough for me. I mean, if a trip's going to give us life, a guy can give me you know what. <laughs> Will you marry me? I could. I could not. Who 
heroes. I do. Please, no one is innocent. It's silly to pretend. I don't understand. Oh, God, I don't think he does. How long's he going to last? I want to marry you. No, you don't. Really, you don't. Right, Captain Jack Twig. Jack it on and off to France. <sighs> General Hay, this map shows the general disposition of our six British divisions. Do you believe in this attack? Joffrey wants it. But do you want it? I did not at first, nor did you. And now? Now it's happening, so we win it. But do you believe in it? For God's sake, man, how can we be having this conversation? We're 72 hours into an artillery garage. If we are not committed heart and soul, he will not look upon us down kindly. Who is he? The Lord of Battles. Ah, Lord Kitchener. The Lord Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, faith. I pray you have it, John. Oh, absolute faith. In gas. Come on. The ground around Luz is bad. We both know it. But the gas, if lavishly used, will be effective for up to two miles. And in many places, and not along the whole line. <laughs> you sound like you're trying to convince yourself. As commander in chief, it is my duty to convince myself. If the wind favours us, the gas will win the day, and our losses will be light. Now, I must head up the line. I'm setting up a forward command post at Lilius. Report to me there. One other thing. What, what? Captain? Yes, sir? Come here. Yes, sir. Clever little bugger, aren't you, Captain? No, sir. What? I mean, yes, sir. So what are you, then? Clever little bugger, sir. <laughs> Captain Twig here is on my staff, and therefore under my command. Getting uppity though. What are you so uppity about, Captain? Something about the Eleven Corps? Come, come, boy, this is your big moment. <laughs> Sir? Yes, yes, speak. It's about the Reserve's Eleven Corps. They're five miles behind the front line. So? The 21st and 24th Divisions are Kitchener volunteers. Bloody useless. But the Guards Division are with them. Crack troops! In battle, always have a reserve. Now shut up! No, Captain. Do not shut up. The, yeah. the problem is that that far back, they won't be able to follow up the attack. They won't get to the front line before dark. How do you know? Because I've walked it, sir. Ha! A hit. A palpable hit. You damn little tight! Get out of my sight! Yes, sir! So bloody unfair! Why can't they see it? Tyke is right. I will not bear this. I will not. Release the reserve to my command now. No, damn you. I'll march them forward overnight. I said no. And it seems I have to remind you that I am your supreme commander. Yes. So you are, Field Marshal. Don't think I don't know of your scheming behind my back, Douglas. You are dismissed. War is a very brutal way of settling differences. The more I see of it, the more I hate it. And no one will ever believe that that is what the commander in chief thought the day before the Battle of Luz. Captain Twig? Yes, sir. You are dismissed from my staff. But, but, sir, I request permission to join the front line. Request denied. You can kick your heels here at GHQ, then I'll pass you on somewhere. Yes, sir, I... Yes, sir. So near. Yeah, so far. Hotel. 
volunteered and joined the Queen's Brigade, the London Regiment, shipped to France April 1915, numerous actions, promoted in the field to corporal, caught by the British gas, gas. blowing back from the Battle of Luz. What do you want us to do? New ones, Justin, what are useless? Have you seen dead men? In hospital back in Blighty, of course, but not. They dump the corpses out here, so they don't pull up the front clearing station. But they make mistakes. Mistakes? You mean... Oh. Find one living and it's gin all round. No. No! Here! Here! <coughs> it hangs on. Life. Me. We won't. We know fatal trauma. You've seen this? Yes. Oh, yes. Stretcher bearers! Take this man to the emergency clearing station. Are you sure you want to do that, Mom? You shall do all you can to save his life. Oh, goodness gracious. Are you really sure you want to do that, Miss? He's more mud than man. Sit him up at the station. Don't lie him down. Yes, so he doesn't choke on his blood. Label. Get the label. Yes. Oh, label. London Irish, 1st, 14th, number 734-852. What are you doing? Put this label on him. At once, please. Lost luggage, is he? Damaged goods beyond repair, more like. He's to be sent to Queen's Hospital, Sidka. What's that? It's for Mr Gillies. Who's Mr Gillies? Anything else you want put on him? Go, just go, get him to clearing. And sit him up when he gets there. Yes, Mum. Yes, Mum. Sit him up so he doesn't choke on his own blood. Yes, Mum. Yes, Mum. Three bags. Well, tell me what that was about. It's a very new hospital. For wounds to the face. First it was in Aldershot. Then it moved. To Queen's at Sidcup. He gave us the labels when we knew we were coming to France. So we'd get the best. Sorry. The worst cases. Said he don't like lads going to other hospitals. Said they are butchers. Who did? The surgeon. Mr Harold Gillies. He does rhinoplasty. Plastic surgery. Well, then we'd best get more labels done and given out to everyone. Come on. You didn't tell her about Dr. Scroggy. She did not understand. <laughs> How can we laugh seeing men die? Because nothing is normal. Even our thoughts. Nothing is normal. Oh, I am so tired. Come on, you three. Time for gin. <laughs> to me. I'm going to lose my face. And when you're in a war, you do know. You've always known what's going to happen to you. Every moment you're alive and you're dead. Hello? Hello? Release the reserve to my command now. I will not. Hello? Hello? God, man, the attack is failing. Elements of the first and sixth have reached the village of Lou. But they're horribly exposed. They must be reinforced. Release the eleventh corpse. Hello? Hello? Johnny, I can do it. Trust me. The eleventh corpse is yours. Tell Hacking to advance. Yes, sir. I'll give him his orders personally. Hello? Hello? <sighs> no blame. The telephone lines laid by the Engineer Signal Service. GHQ to forward HQ in the attack. <coughs> Wires under mud, in and out of trenches, getting shot to bits in the shelling. No blame. Sir, sir. Ah, Captain Twill. Yes, sir. Remind me, didn't I dismiss you from my staff? Yes, but huh? I... Wanted to do your bit? Yes, sir. Sir, I, request, I respectfully request permission to join the front line. Go and be a bloody hero. Permission granted.
What's your name anyway? Edwards. Sir. It's all together. It's all right, Edwards. We're all together in this. Sir. You being your officer, sir? Yes, replacing. I think it was... Lieutenant Brown, sir. Yes. How's morale? Morale is excellent, sir. Time is... 5.30. Order of the day is a 30-minute barrage for the assault. It should begin... Battle of Luz, 59,247. German casualties, 51,110. More dead than at the Somme one year later. I think that's where they keep them. What? Like? Wards. Yes. We've got to be strong for him. Yes. Is it true, Mrs. Twig? Yes, I think so. I'm Sister Catherine Black. Major Gillies will come and talk to you shortly. Major Gillies? They want no stuff shirts, officer. I want to see a proper doctor. Queen's is a military hospital. Major Gillies is the chief surgeon here, so strict military discipline applies. Miss Terry and Mrs. Twig, the patients here are very ill. You must be under no illusions. Are you talking about Jack? How bad is he? You must prepare yourself for a shock. Shock? It's, it's best you talk to Major Gillies. No. You can't just give us shock by saying shock and leaving it. Just tell me it's not his eyes. Ah! Young Jack's ma and pa. Sister, please fetch the young man. Yes, sir. Forgive me all. Helps me think. <laughs> Have you been told about your son's wound? No. But you do know the kind of wounds we treat in this hospital. <laughs> you do faces. So we know he's got something on his face. His eyes are fine. Mrs. Twig. Oh. I know that's the big fear for parents. Oh, God. Many young men here have lost their sight. But Jack was lucky. Lucky? Lady Luck is with young Jack in all kinds of ways, Mr. Twig. The wounded concussed him. He was left for dead outside the dressing station. Fortunately, one of my nurses was shopping. Shopping? Nurses who have served here at Queen's. 
I have them look out for the lively ones. Lively? Mr. and Mrs. Twin, you must be brave. He dreads this meeting, dreads it for your sake. Do consider, even now, if you want to do this. We're not ones to complain. If you don't mind, we'll see him. Yes. Why the wheelchair? Balance problems, in or in. It happens. Don't worry, old boy. He'll get over that. I don't know if I can. Look at me, Jack. Jack. Old oh, boy. to nature's friend. And who's that when he's at home? Time, Mrs Twig. Time. Right ho, honey! What kind of nose do you want? Something Roman! A conquering emperor! What? what? I'm asking you what kind of nose you want, old fruit. You, you, you ask me what, what I want? Well, at the moment you've got no nose at all, so if you're going to have a new one, it may as well be something spectacular. What I want is to die. Tried that, didn't you? If you couldn't get yourself dead at the Battle of Loot, maybe you never will. Give me something. I'll give you a new face. You can't. I can. I don't want to be alive. That's not a great act, Dickery. Not going to get many bookings with that. You're some kind of idiot. Idiot? Up to you. Would I be a fool to give you back your life? Captain. In this hospital, I'm walking on air. We all are, improvising, fumbling towards new methods, new results. We are doing things in surgery never tried before. Not just in surgery, in life. We are doing things never tried before in life. We are playing God, and it is terrifying. But I want to give you your mug back. May not be as pretty as it once was, but back it will be. And not the back end of a bus. Want to give it a go? I can't, no! Sleep on it for now, old then. Do that for me? Oh. Top man. Oh! One more thing, Captain Twig. We don't do glum here. Glum just doesn't work. Hey there, fella. Need a hand? I'm fine. You sure? I said I'm fine! Easy. No offence. Gillies, has he started on you yet? No. He's done my sausage. Your... My sausage? I don't know what you're talking about. My skin graft. Here, have a peek. Something to show the girls, eh? 
That's disgusting! <laughs> disgusting it is. But I'll say this for it. It's all me. This is how it works. He cuts a slab of skin away on your belly. Your surgeons, they're all butchers, just a whole lot more fancy with it. Anyway, he trims along one edge, like he's cutting a nice bit of fillet, and rolls it up. In go the stitches, and hey presto, there's your sausage of flesh dangling off you. But, but how? How's he getting it up to your face? Easy, walks it up. What? When the flesh is healing, he bends over, pins one end, trims the other, and hey bloody presto, skin for a new mug, and it's all you. You were at GHQ, were you not, sir? Captain Jack Twig. Corporal O'Hannigan. I'd not have known you, sir. Well, given the state, that's not bloody surprising. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that I can't explain to myself, let alone any other, I miss it. Yes. Even the mud and the wet. Yes. Even the stink. The guns. Sometimes, sometimes I think I can just still hear them. I think they're in our heads, and always will be. <laughs> I don't miss the lies. Bloody terrible. Even if you could get your clothes washed, fresh off the line, the eggs were still in the seams. I want to go back. So do I. Let's make a pact. A pact? When we're, when we're well enough, we'll go, we'll go back to the front line. And get to kill a bloody crowd at last. A pact? Permission to dismiss, sir. Granted, corporal. <laughs> in this hospital called Dr. Scoggy. <laughs> and I'll thank you very much for not carrying on such ridiculousness. Good night. Who's Dr. Scoggy? Don't worry, old chap. He'll see you all right. Well, why did Sister say he doesn't work here? Well, he does, and he doesn't. Gillies knows about this doctor? That's a deep <coughs> question. Very deep. <laughs> Better get some shut eye. Best we do. Won't be any of Scrubby does his rounds. <laughs> Don't snore. I never snore. Right, Max! I drop cops and so lose no job! Scrubby! Doctor, help me! What ails you, that? I've got this rash on my face, Doctor. Well, it's a mighty improvement to what it was. Doctor, where's my nose? It's run off, Manny! Why is it done that, Doctor? It's in love! With a lass called Rosie Parker. <laughs> there is a war on. Doctor, doctor, I've come over all peculiar. Well, fortunately, my anesthetist here, Doctor Burgle, has flown up with him Finnegan, and so soon the surgeon have a remedy. I prescribe champagne and oyster all now. The divine oyster made by the Almighty for the jawless and the tongueless. A sliver of flavour of the ocean of heaven. Gentlemen, who's up for the tea? You bet! Doctors, give these drunks their medicine and I'll see to this one. And have a wee one while you're at it. Captain Twig, I'm going to count to three. Then I want you to wake up. One, two, three! Oh my god! Who are you? Archibald Scrooge, spinner of improbabilities and physician of dreams. At your service. Are you real? I get by. <laughs> Any requests of a medical nature? Give me a mirror. But back. How do you do? I am your mirror. Give us a grin. Give us a kiss to yourself. All right, just a wee look. <laughs> Oh, clacking me up! Want to know how you look? Yes. Like a circus clown who's had his face kicked in by an elephant. Oh, hey. So, looking on the bright side, you've got no problems at all. Or if I look on the dark side? We don't do that here. 
Gillies is a clever fellow, he'll undo the elephant damage. Then you can run away. <laughs> Larry, all you've got to do here is get yourself sane. I am sane. Are you now? Sleepwalking in the wards, crying about the wire. It's my body, not my mind, that's smashed to bits. Gillies can fix your face for you, that's just flesh and skin and bone. It's mind and soul, boy. Mind, mind and, and soul. soul. That needs the healing. I don't, I don't want to play this game. That's not what we're here for. Then what are you here for? To get you back to life, laddie. I don't want to get back to life. I want to get back to war. Cut me, stitch me, paint blood, I don't care. Just doctor, doctor, get me back to war. Well, we'll see about that, laddie. But for now, let's have a wee sniff of your champagne. Chance an oyster. Oh. Listen. What? That dreaded sound. The click of sensible shoes in a hospital corridor. What's that click of click of mean or flame? The medical police. Right, lads, this midnight dispensary is closed. One more sister. Patients, orchestrated scrolling. Go. That's if you've got a nose. If not, just make a general morning sound. <laughs> Anesthetists, flee for your lives! Wait! Get blood to me! I don't want to play your stupid game! I always want to get blood to me all during this. What is this? <laughs> you can stop on a hole. I'll just do it for you. Fake it! Gentlemen, I know there have been shenanigans. <laughs> Scroggy. You finish it. <laughs> Nurse, sink, pour! Boo! I banned mirrors in this hospital. Easy to see why. I banned alcohol for the same reason. To discourage despair. But these are takings away. We must have givings. I want to give them something totally unexpected in a war, in a hospital for the horribly injured. Fun. Together. No. For old time's sake, 
Aren't you carrying a torch, yeah, torch for our young Jack? That's none of your damn business. They do say they can work miracles. I need another drink. My treat. <laughs> duty as an Englishman. We were so proud when you first joined. Always have been proud of you, son. Half proud, but half full of fear. <laughs> now the fear is all there is. It's not your fight, dear. Not really. We're your fight. Your family. Do you know? 
What men with smashed up faces gets most as jobs? Cinema projectionists. So they can work in the dark, behind the lights, where nobody can see them. That's not for me. Jack. No, go away. Oh, Jack. No, 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 it's all fun, Manny! The war! You're in it, mother! I can't say that! Is it the fear that's fun, Jack? I want to fight for England, that's all! Not that simple! It is that simple! Nah, it's all knotted and twisted within! It's that feeling deep down somewhere! Just above your balls, below your touch! Just before the whistle goes, and the attack, the off, the risk, the fear! That's what you want! That moment! When you feel alive! You are a doctor. You're sicker than we are. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm sick of, Jack. Healing young men's faces and seeing them smashed a bit all over again. Discharge me. No. You know you'll be ordered to. The army need the men. Even if their noses are wonky. That nose isn't wonky. You're right. It's true, Roman. Thank you for everything you've done for me, Doctor. Another one going back. So many. I just feel like all my work is for nothing. They're, they're brave men. Yes. Damn them! Damn them! Damn them! All right. Tea! Oh, 